Hi, History Bros. Welcome to my new channel. Today we went on a cool adventure to South Warminster, formerly the Cathedral Church of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's a cathedral in Southwell, Nottinghamshire, England. It's a beautiful building with a rich history dating back over a thousand years. The present Romanesque building we see today was started in 1108. The story of Southwell Minster begins long before the grand stone structure we see today. As early as the 7th century, a Saxon church stood on its very ground, but it was 1108 with the arrival of Archbishop Gerard that the grand transformation began. He envisioned the grand cathedral. He commissioned a Norman masterpiece, characterised by its dirty pillars, rounded arches and powerful sense of space. South World Minster serves not only a magnificent architectural landmark, but also a place of solace and spiritual refuge. The hushed ambience, illuminated by vibrant stained glass windows, creates a sense of tranquility, a space of quiet contemplation and prayer beyond its architectural brilliance. Southwell Minster has long been sanctuary of soul. The cathedral choir, with its rich tradition, continues to fill the space with heavenly melodies but the musical heritage extends far beyond the choir. The Minster regularly hosts the orchestral and choral concerts. Over the centuries, Southwell Minster witnessed the evolution of architectural styles. The Norman nave, built for strength and stability, gave way to the more honoured early English Gothic chapter house, a testament to the evolving archery of the era. But perhaps the most captivating feature of the Minster lies within the chapter house, the leaves of Southwell. These breathtaking naturalistic carvings depicting the abundance of foliage and fauna are considered some of the finest examples in the country. Each intricate detail speaks to the exceptional skill of the medieval craftsmen. Take a stroll through the peaceful gardens surrounding the minister, a perfect place to relax from the mad world outside. When the day we came there, there was a rare plant fair going on. We walked about to see what rare plants were available. There were roses, fruit trees and garden ornaments.
Thanks for joining us on this exploration of South Old Minster's history. Until next time, remember to cherish stories that these ancient walls hold within. Like and subscribe and hit the bell. See you in the next one.